One day, a Buddhist monk approached a very poor patient farmer and told him that any day you discover a diamond the size of your thumb, you can be so wealthy that you can even put your sons on thrones as kings. The moment this Buddhist priest told this farmer what diamond can do in his life, this farmer told the monk, where can I get this diamond? I need this diamond. I need to be so wealthy. And the man told him that he can discover diamond in rivers, in places where nature has deposited them. And then, after telling this farmer this, the Buddhist monk left. And then this farmer, he had a land where he cultivates all his crops. Now in that land, there was a stream that passed through the land. Now this farmer gathered every morning in his possession, sold his land to a new, a new person, and then went in search of diamond. He traversed many lands, many territories in search of diamond. After many years of diligent search, this farmer could not discover a diamond. Eventually, he died searching for this diamond, but he died a very poor farmer. Now, a new person bought his land, and then when that new person took possession of his land, one day, that new person took a horse to go and drink from the stream that passed through the farm that that farmer who died has owned for more than 50 years. As the horse was drinking water, the new owner of that land saw something shining inside the water where the horse was drinking. He went and picked it. It was a stone, rough, black, yet yeah, shining. He took it without knowing what it was, went inside, kept it in his house. And then one day, that old Buddhist monk came to look for the farmer. The moment he entered the farmer's house, he came to look for that old farmer who is dead already. When he entered the house, immediately he entered the house, the stone, the black stone, reflected a dazzling light. The Buddhist monk turned and saw it. And then asked the new occupant of the house, oh, has my friend found the diamond? The new occupant of the house said, diamond? Which diamond? This is a diamond. <laughs> Where is the owner? And the new occupant said, ah, a man sold this land to me many years ago, and the man is dead. When the Buddhist picked the stone, he asked the farmer, where did you get this stone? He said, in the river, just at the back of the house. He led the Buddhist monk at that river. When they went there and used a stick to stir the water, they discovered that underneath the water was acres of diamond. Acres of diamond. And this farmer, the old farmer, had been sitting on that acres of diamond for years without knowing him, and he died a poor man. Now, the lesson of this story is this. Many times, you don't know what a great gift you have. You don't know what God has deposited in you. You go out traveling all over the world searching for it. Yet, deep within you, 
is hidden such a powerful gift? Have you ever bothered to ask yourself, how come, how come that people with equal opportunity, equal training, equal background, equal promises end up having different destinies? How come that all of you in this school, you are being taught by the same teachers, you use the same classroom, you copy from the same whiteboard, you study with the same textbook, you stay in the same environment, meet the same people, have the same friends. Yet at the end of them, one person will pass, two person will pass, another person will fail. How come? Is it that the teacher doesn't know how to teach or what? Your story is like the story of this man who was sitting for years on the acres of diamond without knowing it. It took a new person to come and discover it. This school over the years has produced people who are also successful in life. And it was here that they got the foundation for their success. It will be a big tragedy that we spend six years in this school, graduate without achieving something of value. Yet, somebody will come years after your graduation with the same teachers that taught you. And then this school will become a springboard for his or her success. Your story will be like the story of this man. I want you to know that you are, as you are listening to me in this school, you are sitting on acres of diamond. Because your teachers are providing you with the same opportunity, with the same environment, with the same learning material, with the same educational content. But if you end up tomorrow having different destiny, that this one is so successful, this other one is a monumental failure. It is not that your teachers didn't give you all the best. It could be that you have failed yourself. Or like that farmer, you refuse to search at your backyard to discover the acres of diamond.